What's up, guys? This is Scott Lowe, editor of IGN Gear. With me today is Alex Vary of Madcats, Global PR Manager, and we're here to give you a first look at the Modern Warfare 2 accessory lineup from Madcats. Uh, Alex, why don't you give us a run through of what we got here? Thank you, Scott. Very pleased to be here giving a worldwide exclusive to IGN. This is the first time we've taken a look at our Modern Warfare 2 accessories. Um, so, yeah, we've got a whole stack, plethora, and a cornucopia of uh, Modern Warfare 2 accessories. Uh, over here, we've got our brand new combat controller for Xbox 360 and for PlayStation 3. Um, so I don't know if I can pick one of these guys up and just and just show it off to the camera here, but you've got these little combat grips here on the side, being modelled after a real firearm, so it just feels like you're, you're holding uh, a weapon rather than, than a gamepad. You've got the soft touch elastomer finish, and you've got the really cool backlighting. So when you plug this into uh, to, to your Xbox 360 or you switch on the LED function on the PlayStation 3 remote, in fact you can see that because we've got the, the little night vision-like backlighting on the PS3 remote active, just lights up and looks really cool in stealth mode. Around the back, we've got these really cool combat buttons. We've got a combat one and a combat two button. And these have got a little switch above there, which means you can assign uh, up to three, a choice of three of the different action button presses uh, to each of the combat buttons. So for instance, here on the combat one button, we can assign it to mimic the B button, the A button, or the stick of the left analog button press. And here on the right, we've got the Y, the X, or the press of the right analog stick. So it means that if you're more comfortable in not taking your thumbs off the actual analog sticks to activate those buttons, you can use your finger to... Which of, yeah, which of course well. totally preserves the aim and the, uh, the motion of the stick, so you're not, you don't have to take your right. fingers off the stick so at any point. So it means that, you know, and again, you know, if, if, if you, instead of actually pressing down here on the analog stick, which you can see uh, means that you're going to be moving about everywhere, you can just press the button instead. So that's a real cool feature. It makes it much more uh, like playing the PC version when it comes to accuracy and pinpoint movements gotcha. as well there. So a really cool controller. We're using a new different module inside for our analog sticks as well, which is actually the same as the first party module for both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 combat controller, which means you get the same uh, level of tension and the same level of quality inside our analog sticks that you find in the official uh, Microsoft or Sony uh, controllers as well. So it's a really, really cool controller, ideal with Modern Warfare 2. This is the combat controller, and this is going to be released for around $50. It's going to be out the same time as the game. And it'll come in a white and black variation? Yeah, it comes in two. We've got the camo, or we've got the snow white varieties as well. Uh, they also come in this really cool uh, little uh, housing as well, this little protective case, which has been designed after like a rifle ammunition case. So just really collectible, gives a choice of two different finishes for fans of the game. Yeah. And then if you see inside the case, we have the PlayStation 3 controller, which is very slightly from the the, uh, obviously the Xbox 360 controller in that it's wireless. It has a built-in yeah. battery, correct? Yeah. And so this, yeah, so this is the PlayStation 3 version. Uh, again, the styling is slightly different. Um, the PlayStation 3 version, as you say, is wireless. It's got an internal uh, rechargeable lithium-ion battery which charges directly from the console, just like your official Sony controller. Uh, whereas the Xbox 3, uh, 360 version has rumble and the PlayStation 3 version doesn't. So there's a couple of differences depending on which format you own. Uh, but again, on PlayStation 3, you've once again got the combat buttons there, just like on the Xbox gotcha. 360 version. Yeah. And then uh, on the controller front, you also have a PC variation, which is over here on the right or your left end. This is a, uh, you know, obviously for the more PC users, it's, uh, it's not exactly the same in that it doesn't have the combat mapping on the bottom, but it does have, you know, the full controller, you know, functionality as well as the custom yeah, black it's, finish. It's, it's yeah, it's got the custom elastomer finish here yeah. as well. Uh, a key difference, this is the, uh, the PC combat gamepad. Yeah. And this also ships with uh, specialized software called uh, the SST software, which allows you to... Uh, to map any of the keyboard presses onto the main action buttons and it comes with a custom Modern Warfare 2 uh, profile uh, which means that you plug it in, you load up your profile and it's automatically set to work ideally with your PC version of Modern Warfare 2. So it's a really cool controller for the gotcha. PC. Okay, and then on the uh, the controller front, you know, s you know, sticking to it, we've got custom face plates over here, which snap right onto the con with the controller rather than yeah. on a uh, vinyl skin, which I was pretty fond of. You know, you just pop them right on rather than trying to stick. A lot of people don't like it. the vinyl skin yeah. because they just leave all kinds of residue and they're yeah. tough and they can leave bubbles and stuff. So if you don't want to uh, to buy the combat uh, the combat controller. And I don't know why you wouldn't, because they're absolutely freaking awesome. If you don't want to buy yourself the combat controller and you've just got the standard controllers, you can snap on the face.
these plates uh, and again still make a, a bespoke joypad just for your Modern Warfare 2 game. Play. Yeah and as you can see they're uh, actually licensed art from uh, Infinity Ward so you can actually see that they have you know in-game characters and the kind of like screenshots we've been seeing all sorts of from since E3. Well Scotty it's, it's important to note here and once again just to remind all the IGN fans out there this is not a process of you know just taking a standard controller and slapping a logo yeah. on it you know like our Street Fighter range where we work closely with Capcom these have actually been produced in collaboration with Infinity Ward and Activision as well so you know they've personally gone through each product they've worked with us to come up with the best features the best feel for the analog sticks on the combat controllers and all of the artwork is supplied by and approved by Infinity Ward so you know you're getting a really really great products when you buy any one of the, the products in the range and uh, moving along to the uh, still in the console space we've got the uh, the throat mic here which is pretty exciting it's uh, modeled off of uh, after the uh, you know military grade with you know the the Navy SEALs use around their necks yeah. so you can you know, so it's, it's military-inspired, is yeah. what we say there. So, you know, the military use a, a sort of throat communication device, which actually picks up the vibrations, uh, uh, the way you speak. So the, the military guys actually don't have to speak. They can just mouth words. Uh, we haven't gotten that sophisticated. Ours works on a standard mic, but the design styling is styled after a military-grade communicator yep. device. So, um, so this plugs straight into your Xbox 360 console. Uh, fits around your neck, you've got a flexible band on there as well, so it'll adjust to pretty much any size neck or any shape neck there, and, uh, and it's going to work perfectly yeah. with, your, with your combat controller. Yep, and it plugs you know, directly into the base of the, either the combat controller or the first party you know, solution, so you've got that there running for it. On and the, it also has nothing sticking out in front of your mouth, so snacking is allowed. Yeah, Something you can very <laughs> important when I play Modern Warfare 2. And then, uh, you know, keeping the love for the PlayStation 3 users, <laughs> we've got a uh, Bluetooth microphone solution over here. It's uh, yeah. super compact. It has, the, you know, obviously the Modern Warfare logo, the, again, the black camo. But, you know, again, it's super compact. It, it's fully Bluetooth 2.0 and integrated, so you can use it with your, you know, BlackBerry or iPhone if you're, if you're so inclined. you should come work for Madcast, because <laughs> you, you got it. We just want to give the love back to the PlayStation 3 owners. We haven't got the throat communicator for PlayStation 3. It's the Bluetooth solution, but it's a really great, very powerful, very accurate Bluetooth communicator. Yeah. yeah. And then, so moving on to the more aesthetic side of things, you've got, as you can see here, we've got the face plates, which are, you know, feature the art, again, we saw at E3 that everybody, you know, was, you know, jaws to the floor about. We've got the, the snow level, you know, with the, uh, you know, the, the, the Navy SEALs are, I forgot which faction in particular, <laughs> but, uh, so, so you've got the faceplate and then the corresponding uh, skins that wrap around the actual sides of the Xbox 360 console. Um, it's all about customization, yeah. and it's all about creating something that's bespoke for the game that you're playing, you know, and Modern Warfare 2 has got such a great loyal following, and, and the artwork is so great, and the game is a very visceral game anyway, yeah. so just again gives you the opportunity to customize your entire Xbox 360 console, and indeed by using the... Uh, the, the snap-on faceplates, you can customize your controller as well. Mm -hmm. So when you've added these faceplates on, um, you know, you, you add the faceplates with the skins and it goes right the way around the console to give you a 360 degree wraparound uh, image taken directly from the game. Yeah, and so to finish it all off, we've got the remainder of the PC line. We already talked about the game pad, but we've got the sniper mouse and then the combat keyboard. Yeah, that's right, you know, and they're designed to go together. You obviously don't have to buy both of them yeah. together, but, you know, they look fantastic together. Once again, it's a shame your, your, your viewers here can't see, but it's got the soft touch uh, camo graphics here as well. Just feels really nice to use. And this is a great gaming keyboard, you know, and, uh, and this, this follows on from the heritage that our SciTech brand mm -hmm. deliver. So SciTech guys worked on the keyboard and indeed on the mouse. It's a great gaming keyboard. We've got a, a Windows lock function here. Uh, you can macro any of the, uh, the F series of buttons as well to carry out different maneuvers and different key presses from the game. It's got 11 stage anti-ghosting facility as well. So it's a great gaming keyboard, works perfectly with Modern Warfare. Uh, and then over here, this is our sniper mouse, again for, for, um, for PC. A really great gaming mouse here. It uh, allows you to pick your DPI anywhere from 600 to 3200. So for the ultimate precision, if you... If right, you, uh, right. Yeah, so, you know, if you're really, really a fast, crack shot, that's yeah. it, and you're a crack shot, you can go right up to 3200 DPI here. Uh, again, this comes with the SST software that allows you to map different profiles. It's got a little profile button here, which means you can, uh, you can switch on the fly from mode 1 to mode 2, which gives you a choice of two different profiles 
profiles, which means you can map slightly different buttons to, to uh, slightly different key presses, I should say, to any of the mouse buttons and call those up on the fly to use in game. Uh, the great soft touch elastoma finish, uh, it's a shame you can't see this, but you've got a really cool Modern Warfare 2 logo that lights up when you plug it into the USB. Uh, heavy duty braided cable. And around the back, we've got a two stage weighting system here as well. So you can adjust the weight of the back and of the front of the mouse to make sure it's, it's uh, bespoke to your system of play. So it's a really great gaming mouse, ideal for Modern Warfare 2. And, uh, you know, everything you've seen here will be launching concurrently with the game day one, correct? Yeah, that's right. So again, we've worked very closely with Infinity Ward and we work worked hard to make sure that gamers can go out and buy the game and buy any of our great accessories day one. So this is going to launch alongside Modern Warfare 2. Awesome. Well, thanks, Alex.